Hey guys, welcome back to our Swift tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to print the entire screen to a printer or just any view. So um, we're just going to be getting the view and then I'm just going to be printing it, uh, popping up the printer controller and then just allowing the person to print. So for this example, I'm just going to be showing the entire screen. So just using the regular view and I can just create a custom view for that so I guess I can just add an image view in here and I'll just put in an image uh, let's just say uh, let's see let me see if I let me try something different I'll do a cloud this time and we'll just put that in there and then underneath that we'll just put in some I think it's 50 oh my that was silly uh, okay let me just make this minus 50 and give it some height and width constraints so let me just make it 250 and 200 like that okay and then under this I can just add in a label saying cloud and I'm just trying to make a scene here so uh, underneath that I'll make sure to put it 50 under 25 on both sides and center this text make it bigger and let me just call this a cloud. Actually for this demo I'll call it printer and I think there's actually a printer image. Yep, yeah, there we go. Printer. So yeah, this is our scene and now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to print this. So if I just run this like this, all we're gonna have is the printer image and the uh, label underneath it saying printer and then we're just gonna print this entire view. So I'm going to do this in a view did it appear, uh, override, and view did appear, super dot view did appear, animated, just so it only happens when a view actually appears so that we have everything in the scene. So now the first thing we want to do is we need to create the image uh, of the view. So to do that what you have to do is you have to start the... Um, image context so UI graphics um, begin begin image context uh, and then you're looking for the with options thing size and then this is where you choose the view so I'm just going to do view.frame.size and we won't make it opaque and the scale is just zero and now we can actually um, get it so we need to just set where we need to get the image so I'll just draw hierarchy in view.bounds and we set this to false now we can create our image so let view image is equal to UI graphics uh, get image from and uh, just get image from current image context and you have to make sure that's a um, non-optional and then we can end this begin context so UI graphics graphics end image context so now we have our image which we're going to try and print now the next thing we do is actually open up the printer view controller so let me just do that let printer view controller is equal to UI printer uh, interaction controller uh, oh, do I print interaction controller? Whoops. And we don't actually have to use a delegate for this, but we do have to put it in the dot shared since this is more of an iOS thing rather than a uh, this is in your app, it's more of an iOS thing. And then we can set the printer info uh, printer view controller dot uh, print info is equal to printing. Uh, oh, that's a that's a name. Whoops. UI print info. Oh my god, I can't spell today. UI print info dot output type dot general. And uh, what's the problem here? Um, oh, this was the wrong thing. It's actually output type. So, 
This is here. Oh, I just realized I've been doing this in the wrong order. Okay, wait one sec. I need to create the information first. So let information is equal to UI print info. So I forgot to make the information, that's why it wasn't working. UI print info and we don't have anything in the dictionary. And this is where we set the output type. Uh, information dot output type is equal to UI print info dot output type dot general. Yep, this is where we did it. This was the wrong spot. Uh, and then we can just do set the job name. So information dot job name is equal to uh, print uh, view and you see here we can actually set some other stuff so the uh, orientation of it like landscape or portrait and I thought there was some other stuff but I guess that comes in the print of view controller so we can just leave that there and now we can set this info to the information which we just created and finally we have to set the printer info I mean the print an item so yeah this is all the stuff where you can set but we need to set the print an item to image um, view image. And you might have noticed there was actually printing items, and that's just the same thing but with an array. Finally, we can just um, we can present this. So what we would need to do is we would just do self dot present uh, print view controller completion nil. Uh, wait, actually, let me check. Actually, wait, I think this needs to present itself. Print view controller dot present. Yeah, like that. True. Uh, no completion handler. And let's just see if that worked. Okay. And let's just run this. And yeah, there we go. So now it's just uh, open this and it's just printing this. See if we can select a printer, it'll just look for printer. This is just a regular printer um, printer screen. You can add more copies if you just select the printer. I don't actually have any printers, but this is just usually an uh, AirPrint printer. So if you have a printer in your house, you can just um, print it. But yeah, this is how you open up the printer. And you can see it just printed the view. But if you wanted a different view, what you could do is you could actually uh, change this. Um, you could just change this to whichever view you want. So uh, let me just find it. Uh, all you do is you change this. So instead of just regular view, you change all of these to the view which you actually want. And yeah, that's how you actually print the screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye.